Our next topic of the day, guys, is going to be about Warzone or Call of Duty, the Call of Duty Battle Royale. And I want to talk about, guys, why this game mode, this, you know, Battle Royale within Call of Duty is a, a true game changer in my personal opinion. I really feel, guys, that... Call of Duty Modern Warfare is really adding some incredible things to the game. I definitely want to talk about this because this is a game that's been heavily scrutinized uh, for a number of reasons. Basically, from the very beginning of when, you know, guys and, and, and different reviewers from IGN and other huge platforms started reviewing parts of the game or were able to play a little bit of the campaign they were saying it's very edgy and it's just not, uh, they, they didn't, they thought that the game needed to be toned down and things of that nature. And now here we are, after all this time, you have, in my opinion, the greatest, arguably the greatest Call of Duty campaign ever made in Call of Duty history with Modern Warfare. The multiplayer, I, you know, of course, you know, I think a lot of this is up for debate, guys, because obviously everyone's going to have their personal favorites. But I put here, as far as my top three favorite Call of Duties ever, we've got, of course, Black Ops 2 is number one, Modern Warfare 2 is number two, and number three, I have a two-way tie between Black Ops 4 and Modern Warfare. Guys... Modern Warfare is incredible. It's such a, a great step in, in the right direction. And I'll tell you why. Sure, there's a lot of things that need updated and all that stuff. But, I mean, may I remind everyone that back in Modern Warfare 2, Infinity Ward never patched a lot of different things. They never, like, nerfed, um, you know... The noob tube. I mean, the noob tube was never patched, right? And we never really, I mean, we complained about it, but it was like, we got over it, right? Nowadays with social media, everyone's complaining about things. And that's kind of like the one thing about social media that it's just, obviously it's nice that we can all kind of voice our opinions about things. But at the same time, it was so much easier back, you know, back within the MW2 days because we would, you know, complain about stuff, but it wasn't... Infinity War just, you know, they just let it be, and I'm glad that they did because noob tubes are a part of COD. It's a part of Modern Warfare 2, and it's one of the greatest Call of Duties ever made. So with that being said, the Battle Royale in Call of Duty Modern Warfare is a game changer in my opinion. An utter game changer. Here's why. Not only, guys, is Battle Royale, sure, Battle Royale is starting to kind of slowly but surely kind of, the numbers are going down gradually, whether we're talking about Fortnite, Apex Legends, you know, Blackout, uh, you know, even Battlefield, Firestorm, and, you know, uh, I mean, there's just a number of Battle Royales, right? I think that what's happening now is the Battle Royale genre is starting to consistently evolve now. What I think that the Modern Warfare Battle Royale, what it brings to the table is the simple fact it really brings not only a massive map, but it also is just another way that you can connect in the Modern Warfare universe. And really, like the Call of Duty universe, to, to really say the least. And it's a realistic first-person shooter, uh, Battle Royale, obviously, FPS, BR. Would they call it a first-person shooter BR or a first-person BR? I don't know. Does it matter? A first-person Battle Royale, which, to me, it's the most, like, realistic. Now, obviously, I know people will say PUBG, people will say, like, other games. Look, I don't even think there's even any comparison in my eyes. I mean, Warzone is, in my opinion, light years better than PUBG. 
I even thought Blackout was better. I had some issues with Blackout. Um, you know, just the simple fact that I had it, it was really buggy for me when I would play with friends. When I played by myself, it was it was fine. But when I played with other people, it was always really buggy on me for some reason. And so I, I couldn't really get fully engaged in Blackout. But man, Warzone, because of how big the map is, and because you know just the objectives and just the, I mean. The replay value is so big on this game, in this game mode, within Call of Duty, that I believe truly, guys, that this is a game changer for the first person Battle Royale. I'm not saying that it's going to be bigger than Apex. I think it has a potential to be. I think it has a potential to be way bigger than Blackout ever was. I think that it's got potential to... I guess you could say coexist with the other battle royales without a doubt. Like, I think that it should be there. It should be because of how good it is. It's such a great addition to the battle royale genre. And I don't think there's any debate about it. It's absolutely awesome. It's great. And I'll say this. Modern Warfare is creating other things within the game that I think are incredible. The 2v2 gunfight tournaments, guys, that is so awesome. Sure, have we been waiting for those, you know, waited a long time for the CDL playlist and such, or, you know, league play? You know, yeah, waited a while for those things, but man, the tournament modes are so cool. They feel they're competitive, they're intense, and that's what's so awesome about Modern Warfare. It's figuring out gradually now what it is. And you guys all know I've been on record. Those of you who don't, I'll remind you, or you know, say it for the first time, and you'll hear it for the first time that Modern Warfare, I believe, is the game of obviously this year, and then Black Ops is the game that's going to get announced this year and it'll come out this year, um, and we're going to have a Black Ops reboot and obviously the Modern Warfare reboot, and we're going to go back and forth between these two games. You're going to have Blackout. You're going to have Warzone, you're going to have both these games are going to be adding things to it. Do I believe that they're going to, you know, make a Modern Warfare 4, you know, not obviously in like 2021, and then a Black Ops 6 in 2022? I think, guys, what Activision realized is, and I might be wrong about this, they realized that, okay, let's just make these two games the two biggest sub-series within the overall franchise of Call of Duty. Let's make them absolutely epic. Let's go back and forth, update Blackout, update, you know, um, the Warzone. And then we consistently add on to these games, whether that be new story in the campaign, new Spec Ops, new Zombies, new Blackout, uh, or new Blackout, whatever characters or adding new areas in the map consistently having you know league play and and you know the cdl playlist and all of that and keeping the pros on these two sub series franchises for the foreseeable future they just kind of go back and forth year to year. Now, I might be wrong. Maybe they will continue making, you know, Modern Warfare 4 and then Black Ops 6 and then Modern Warfare 5 and then, you know, Black Ops 7. They'll just keep on going back and forth. And that's something that very well could happen. But I think there was a reason why they made a soft reboot of Modern Warfare. And I believe a soft reboot of Black Ops. Which we're going to have to wait for, but... I believe that's kind of why they're doing that is because they want these two to be, it's Call of Duty Modern Warfare and Call of Duty Black Ops. Those are the foundations of COD at its core. And they just want to make those games as good as they can. And they just keep adding seasons and they keep on adding free content as well as payable content. And they can just, you know, keep on doing that. Don't split the fan bases up. If you're splitting them up, you're splitting them between two incredible sub-series. You're either a Modern Warfare guy or a Black Ops guy, or you're both, which would be myself. I mean, I'm a Call of Duty guy in general. But I'm just saying, guys, that I believe Activision 
has a juggernaut of a franchise for the foreseeable future. They could keep making games, and and I, I think that we would. I think they're in going into a great direction here, and I hope they continue doing that. The sky is the limit, in my opinion, when it comes to Call of Duty. Whether they decide to just do the soft reboots and then kind of go back and forth, or they continue onwards with Modern Warfare and Black Ops every other year. It would be interesting, but I do believe, guys, that Warzone's a game changer. I think that as a realistic first-person battle royale, I think it's the best one. It's the best one, and... I think that Infinity Ward is making, you know, doing leaps and bounds to make this a game that is for for everyone. And it's it's just that good. It's that good of a game, guys. I mean, it is gradually, slowly but surely, climbing up the ranks of the greatest COD of all time. Think about it. First time we've ever had free DLC, guys. Free DLC. That's incredible. That's a beautiful thing, guys, when you think about it. Um, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Am I, do you guys think that I'm wrong? Cause I'm sure you guys will let me know if you, you know, I'm sure you guys will let me know. And if you do let me know in the comment section below, I would love to have a real conversation about this.